Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Today we're going to talk about advantages of a bottom-up financial modeling approach for early stage startups. This is the approach that the Startup Station uses. We recommend that you use it as well. And this is in all of our frameworks. But before we start, let's uh, understand why we like this approach and what is this approach uh, actually entails. Right? So in the bottom-up approach, you are working with strategic decisions. Right, so you are you are modeling business drivers, which represent your decisions, which represent your go-to-market strategy. You are also modeling the business logic, which convert these decisions into the financial data, which are your revenues. For a startup, revenues are the most important thing to model because they represent the uh, company's business plan, and especially if you are pre-revenue. This is the most ambiguous part about the whole modeling process because it's clear what the costs are and completely unclear how much money you're going to make. This approach is also useful if you're going through a turnaround, if you're launching a new initiative, or in general, if your business is small, where you need to model your strategy on a granular level. What happens as a result, right? What are the advantages of this approach is that you have revenue goals which are connected to your company strategy because they consider your capital constraints, your labor constraints, your regulatory requirements, as well as the product development timeline. So you have um, financial results, right, which are connected to the company strategic activities. And on top of that, you now have a business intelligence tool, right, which you can use to track whether or not your strategy is working and quickly adjust, right? You can quickly respond to market feedback and not waste time and money. If you do not do it, you will just have a reporting tool, right? If you don't track your strategy, you will just know, oh, I didn't meet this results. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I met this results, but how do I ensure I'm gonna do it again? If you do track your decisions and it's tracked through the financial systems that you set up, you then have a lot more intelligence of most companies in terms of what is going on. And as a result, your financial plan becomes robust, okay? Because it clearly shows to all of the stakeholders, your investors, your employees, your management, your customers, your strategic partners, how you will achieve your revenue goals, how much capital you will require and what your path to profitability is. And so the early stages that accelerates your fundraising process. Right? Because it shows that you're disciplined, that you're confident, that you're trustworthy, that you're responsible, right? And, and they, when you have funding, it allows you to execute on your plan and quickly react. For investors, when you have robust financials, right, you're taken seriously, it increases your credibility. It also allows you to defend your valuation because it's actually backed up something that you're going to do and it's clear how you're going to do it. And so it strengthens your negotiating position with investors. If you want to learn more about our approach, please take the master class. The link is in the description. It's called Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. And if you like this video, please comment uh, like it below and sign up uh, to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips uh, every week. Thank you, and I uh, will see you next week. Bye.